you're listening to the Dynamic Women podcast. Each week, you'll be inspired by our global community of women. They'll share with you tools and stories to help you be dynamic in every area of life. Here's your host, award-winning coach and the CEO and founder of Dynamic Women, Diane Rolston. Stop the panic. (laughs) I'm going to share seven ways to keep your business and your life going during the coronavirus. Hello, everyone. I am Diane Rolston, and I am the host of the Dynamic Women podcast. So if you are feeling that life's a bit crazy right now, I'm going to share with you these seven different ways to keep your business and your life going during the coronavirus restrictions so that you can stop the panic that's happening. And this is not just going to help you during this time right now, but this is also going to help you during any time when there is another kind of illness going around, when there's a storm, when there's a power outage, or any time that there's something happening in society that really brings fear and panic. I want to be of service to you. And so I'm going to provide you some tools, some strategies to get the most out of this time that we're in. You know, there's been so much panic around COVID-19 and it's been negatively impacting our lives, my life included, and our businesses. There are articles from major newspapers like the New York Times quoting people saying, this week it's all gone to hell. And while this can be true, this is not what we want to be feeding our minds. You see, as the number of cases increase, the doom and gloom feelings, they rise as well. And social media, I'm sure you've noticed, it's been overtaken with comments, concerns, and updates on how many people have been affected and how many people have died. And it is overwhelming. And people online are disagreeing. Even people in person are disagreeing about what they should do to stay safe. People are judging others around their choices, being good choices or bad choices. And people are panicking about where we feel we're being restricted. And so it's pushing people to go and hoard and overbuy resources, which is, you know, keeping that away from elderly, keeping people it away from people who are in greatest need. None of this is good. And that's why I feel that it's time for me to share the seven ways to keep your business and your life going during this time. What I'd really love is, you know, for people to start feeling like, like they're, instead of this being a restriction, that this is a gift. So let me go through the seven ways. I can talk about the don'ts and then the do's. So the first one is don't panic and just don't panic. How do you do that? Well, you have to change your perspective. Really tap into how you're feeling right now. Even if you're not panicking, you need to tap into how you're feeling. And if it's not a perspective that is supporting you, that is helping you, that's keeping you in the right frame of mind, you need to pivot. You need to change it to a new perspective. What about instead of I'm being restricted, I have to stay in my home, I have to isolate and I don't like this. How about you change your perspective to, oh my gosh, this is just like my family and I went to the cottage and we're going to play games and we're going to have fun and I'm going to relax and I'm going to sleep in and I'm going to chill out. Doesn't that already sound much nicer? And once you try on a bunch of perspectives, you get to choose which one you want to move forward with. So check in. What is your current perspective of the situation and how are you going to pivot? Which perspective are you going to choose moving forward? The second thing to do is don't go outward. Don't look to outward things to bring you calmness and make you feel good. Going out to concerts, going out to the bars, going out to restaurants, going out to the parks, going out to all these different places, that's not going to serve you right now. Instead, go inward. Go inward into yourself. Really reflect on what am I needing right now? I have this time. I have this space. Do I need meditation, prayer? sleep, to read, to do a course I haven't done, um, to just spend time with myself. Go inward and really find out what you need. That's where a place of alignment is going to come from. That's where that inner strength is going to come from. And that's going to really support you when you move forward in life and when we get past this. Number three, don't grumble. 
Don't grumble. Don't complain. It doesn't serve anyone. It's like if you meet someone and they complain about the weather and then you meet them the next day and they complain about something else. It is not serving you. All it's doing is welcoming more grumbling and more negativity and more stress into your life. You will not be in alignment. And maybe you won't get the coronavirus, but you are not doing yourself a service by speaking negatively. So stop grumbling. Instead, show gratitude. Have gratitude that we still have electricity, gratitude that you have food, gratitude that we have clean air, gratitude that you're at home safe with your family, gratitude maybe you don't have to work, gratitude that you have this time and space to go inward, gratitude that we're still safe, gratitude for all things in life, big and small. So don't grumble, show gratitude. Number four is don't focus on the symptoms. You can be listening to all the news and looking for like, mm, am, I, am I sniffling now? Am, am I feeling warm? And you're focusing on these symptoms and you're focusing on what it could be and not be and other people's symptoms. Instead, focus on systems. What do I mean by that? What habits in your life do you want to change? What things in your business aren't going well? Focus on creating systems to change those. Do you need a system for your taxes, a system for your health, a system for eating better, a system for getting more clients, a system for your social media? Now's the time to create those. Practice them. Lock them in so that when we get through this, you'll be rolling on a beautiful track of systems. Systems make the world and life business roll so much better. Focus on the systems. Put your energy into that. Stop focusing on symptoms. Yes, you need to self-monitor. Yes, you need to check in with that for yourself and your family. But once you've checked in, move on. Move on to something else, something that's going to help you for when we come out of this time. Number five, don't lose your cool. Don't lose your cool. Don't freak out on people. Don't be rude online. Don't be... um, someone who is going and hoarding when you go out. Don't be snippy with people. Instead, love your family, love your friends, love others. Now is the time to show kindness. Now is the time to love on people. Not actually like get on them, but love on them. Do things to show you care. Write some cards, call a friend, have a Zoom date. Do something that shows your love for others. One thing that I'm doing with my clients is I'm reaching out to them um, and I'm checking in with them and it comes into the next one. Number six is don't suffer. Don't sit there and put yourself into this place of suffering. Don't self-suffer. Don't just sit at home and not use this time wisely. Instead, turn that around and ask, how can I serve? How can I serve? Put that negative energy of suffering into action. Ask how you can serve others, your neighbors who may need you to grab groceries for them. Uh, People online who need your services. I run live events. I run masterminds. I run trainings and many of them are live in person because there's so much community and connection that is built more vulnerability can show up bigger shifts that can show up but how can i move what i do from in person online easily with zoom and so this week i've been taking my elite coaching mastermind um, online and doing it that way i've done some facebook lives and just offering my services so for people out there that are struggling or you know want to process emotions or talk about what they can do strategize about it or uh, get some clarity around something i'm offering strategy sessions coaching sessions to people all you have to do is go to my website or email me dianadianerolston.com so that you can be a part of that and number seven don't be concerned stop being concerned about every single thing that's happening you know watch the news get your information and move on Instead, put your energy into being creative. And so is that creativity now going to come out in how you cook or in quilting or in photography? Like where can you focus your creativity? 
creating a course and get creative with how you normally do things. So if you do it one way, think how can I now do it now that we have some restrictions in place? And so instead of having a live event while in Ontario, an in-person event, I've moved it online and I'm opening it up to the world, to everyone to be a part of that. If you want an invite, you can email me, dianadianawilson.com um, or go to the Dynamic Women uh, events page on Meetup and join on there. So I'm just gifting this to everyone. Why not? Why not bring community together? When we are in community, that whole like being so concerned about things, that stress, that panic is going to go away. So these are seven different things that you can do in order to move through any type of crisis that we have. Um, so don't panic. Instead, change your perspective. Two, don't go out looking for things. Go inward. Number three, don't grumble. Show gratitude. Four, don't focus on symptoms. Focus on systems. Number five, don't lose your cool love on your family. Number six, don't suffer. Ask how you can serve. And seven, don't be concerned. Get creative instead. And so of these seven things, I'm curious, which ones have you implemented? Will you implement? Um, not just now, but in any time that there is a crisis or some trauma or some difficult situation in your life, which one of these will you move forward with? If you can just pick one, your life will be better. If you have more ideas of what you can do, please put a comment um, or send me an email, diana at Let me know what it is so that we can share the love, share the ideas more freely with everyone else. Also, I ask that if you've been listening for a while, make sure you've subscribed um, so that you don't miss out on future podcasts as well as write a five-star review. Um, when you do that, it, it just really shows proof to other people that there is value to get from this podcast. And, you know, that's also a word gift back to me. I do this podcast as a, my way of giving back to the community, of sharing my messages, and I trust in helping others. And so if you've gained from this, if you've done something with some of the information I've shared, I'd love for you to share that in a review. And if you have any struggles, opportunities or such, um, please know that I am gifting some strategy coaching sessions right now. So reach out to me to grab one of those. Or if you have a topic that you'd like me to cover, please reach out, dianadianerolson.com. Let me know what it is. And I'd be happy to add it onto a future podcast. So until next time, everyone, make sure you're staying safe. Follow these seven different um, keys, things that you can do in order to stay safe at this time and stay positive. And uh, until next time, everyone, stay dynamic. Bye. Thank you, Dynamic Women, for joining us today. Please hop on over to iTunes to subscribe and leave us a review. Who do you know who needs to hear our message? We'd love it if you'd share our channel with your friends and family. If you're ready to be more dynamic, have more balance and more success, head over to www.dynamicwomenclub.com forward slash free gift for your key to success book. Stay dynamic.